So in this second challenge, we're going to be looking at selecting elements using their class name and then changing the text inside them. So the reason we want to change the text is, for example, when we get information from a server and we want to display this to the user, we might need to change the text in one of the paragraphs or headings to relay this information. So I'm going to use a simple example to show how this can work. So what I want to do here is I have a button and when I click on it, I want this text to be changed. So the first thing we need to do is select this paragraph so we can change the text. And this paragraph doesn't have an ID, but it does have a class. So what we can do is say let paragraph equals document dot. And we, instead of ID, we can use get elements by class name. And now this takes in one argument, which is simply the class. So that's called information. So I've just fed this class name right here into this. Now, because multiple elements can have the same class, this returns an array of all the matches in the order that they're in the document. So we want to select the first match, which is at index zero, which is this. Now I'm gonna test that we've got this. So I'm gonna console.log paragraph. And yeah, as you can see, we've managed to select the correct paragraph. Now the text part, which is the part between the tags right here, this is what we want to change. And this is stored as a property in a HTML node called the text content. So if I were to log paragraph dot text dot text content, as you can see, it returns this information right here that's in between the tags. Now I can do the same thing if I wanted for button and it would say press me, which is the information between the button tags. Now, because this is just a property, we can also set this property as ourselves. So to do this, we can say paragraph dot text content, and we can say equals, and then set this to a string of our choice. Now I put this inside the onClick event, so it'll happen when I click the button. So I'm gonna say button has been pressed here. And now if I click this button, as you can see, the text changed. So what they want us to do in this challenge is they have a button here and a message box. And they want us to add, well, there's an on-click handler for this button. So some code will get executed in here when this button gets pressed. And they want us to change the text inside this paragraph message to here is the message. So the first thing we need to do is to select the paragraph. So I'm just going to say let p equals, and we're going to use get elements by class name. Now, this paragraph has two classes right here, message and box. So you can select either one, but I'm going to select both of them just to be safe. So now we've selected this paragraph. And what we want to do is we're in the on click now. So this will only get executed when the button's pressed. So we can say p dot text content. So we want to change the text content property to, and then right here we have the string. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it in here. So now if I press this button now, oops. Oh, the reason that that's not worked is I forgot to select the element at index zero. So if I press this now, it's changed the message right here. So if I try and submit this, there's actually a bug in this particular challenge in the fact that it doesn't let you use a variable like this. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do this all in one go. So I'm just gonna say document.get element by class name, and then we're just gonna call it, we're gonna change the text content right away like this. It's a bit more confusing, but this is the only way that this program accepts it for some reason. So if I run it now, it doesn't do that still. If I change it to message and then run it, for some reason, it likes it. So when you can submit this one, although it doesn't really matter, make sure you submit it with just this class and you don't assign it to a variable like I did. So yeah, that's the end of this challenge.